If you are new to FPV flying, don't. Whatever you do, fly your drone like this. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So with the release of the DJI FPV drone came a wave of new FPV pilots. And as you saw in the intro, I'm definitely one of those new pilots. Now with the launch of this drone, they were supposed to include a simulator that you could go in, throw the goggles on and get some practice in. And they did, but only if you have an iOS device. If you have an Android phone like I do, well, you have to wait for an undisclosed or undetermined release date for them to release that simulator. So the point of today's video is to show you guys an alternative that you can use to get some flight time in before you take your drone and risk it in the actual environment. Now, after spending some time scouring different forums and threads and looking at different simulators, I found one called Velocidrone. And I'm sure some of you guys that are familiar with FPV have at least played in the simulator or at least heard about it, but it seems to have the most realistic physics and it does support physical controllers, including DJI's newest FPV controller. Now this one did run me about 24 US dollars, but I consider that an investment. I'd rather of course crash inside that instead of risking the actual drone. This program does work on Windows and Mac and it also doesn't take a ton of computing power, making it really easy to just fire it up on a laptop if you're on the go and getting some flight time in in between destinations. So it's pretty cool. Now, as of right now, I don't believe this works with the DJI goggles like it would with the actual simulator from DJI. And I'm sure some of you guys out there would be like, well, it's not the same thing if you don't have the goggles. And that might be true to an extent, but at least it gets a beginner flyer like myself hands on the controls, allowing us to get some practice in without risking the drone. Getting started is super easy. Simply plug in your FPV controller, turn it on, drivers should automatically download and the program should detect the controller. If for any reason you don't get detection in the program or you don't get a tone when you plug in the controller, you may want to verify that the controller is again turned on or try a different USB port slash cord. Some cords will only have the ability to charge a device but not actually transfer data. So you may want to try a different cable. From there, all you need to do is just go into the program settings and then from here you can set your calibration, make sure that the program is detecting it, move the joysticks around, just kind of follow the on-screen prompts. And then of course you can go in and fine tune your rates. The rates are how fast the drone will react to your input measured in degrees per second. Of course, lower the degrees per second, the lower the rate, the lower, the slower the drone is going to rotate or it's going to roll, pitch, yaw, etc. So you want to go in and kind of fine tune those and play around with those. I will leave a few links below that you can check out that talk about these rates in a little bit more detail if you find that helpful. The sim also has tons of tutorials that you can watch and practice with and even a map editor for when you want to go crazy and build some of your own maps. All in all, it was a $24 well invested. Anyways, that is all I have for you on this video today. Hopefully this will give you something to kind of go off of, get you something to practice on, at least until DJI pulls their head out of their ass and releases an application that takes up a good chunk of the uh, mobile market. So it's pretty crazy that they actually even released this drone without actually having app support for both sides. In any case, hope this video helped. If you guys have experience with Velocidrone, leave your comments down below. If you have other suggestions on different simulators that you liked better, of course, leave those below as well. I've got the links down there for the rates if you wanna check out those in a little bit more detail. In any case, thanks again for watching. Be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe if you got something out of this video. If you wanna support us in other ways, head on over to shop.helpcloud.com. Check out our sweet, sweet merch. Anyways, guys, thanks for what you do, and we will see you on the next one. Peace. Oh, don't crash.